Welcome, Taurus, singles, super singles, completely singles. Back to the singles read, meet the soulmates, welcome. This is always a positive read. I want to tell you right out of the shoot here. Adjust my camera a little bit because it's crooked and I'm a Virgo rising. Um, because it's just going to read the one that's right for you. That's all we're asking spirit here. What's the one that's right for Taurus? And this is for the first half. Uh, this is for October as a whole, I'm sorry. I haven't done your readings yet, so let's do October as a whole. And I'll be adding these regularly. Uh, Aries, Taurus, like the heart spread, always be on Monday. Okay. Also have the Soul Family read up. Give it a give it a listen. Uh, it's a quick uh, collective read for whoever resonates. Uh, see if you might feel like you're part of the Soul Family. I talk there more about manifestation, spirituality. Kind of read myself into it a little bit. Kind of that kind of thing. This one uh, is simply going to be the one that's right for you. I'll call out astrological signs, um, and we'll try to get a beat on some personality and behavior. It's usually the hits I get. Come up with some stories they might tell you. I want to help you identify this person like if you went out on a date, or even nowadays texting. You get online, or texting back and forth, you like me, you know, and by the time you actually go on a date, you know, you already you know something about them. At least you know how their mind works. That kind of thing. So, I think a lot of these kind of things you can pick up on there. All right. And I look at the emotional, intellectual, sexual, and lifestyle core values aspects. So, I'll read this. Okay. Meet the soulmate. Iced coffee moment, though. We're in beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico, out on the front porch. It got kind of quiet. The rain's holding off. Okay, here we go. Don't get excited if you see the Seven of Swords. It's a different kind of read. Six of Swords. This is in their emotional position. Uh, over the Queen of Pentacles in the emotional position. Roll the whole uh, read. Ten of Pentacles, intellectual position. Over the Fool, intellectual position. I like their mind. Okay. Uh, this person's a genius. I'm gonna tell you right now. They literally they got an IQ over 140, and uh, very unique mind. They're different. I I got a guy in mind. Uh, I don't know. I remember his name. Might not be him, but he had an IQ as equivalent to Einstein. But he was the most down to earth guy. You could talk to him, and he had the common sense in spades. And he was an Earth sign, Ten of Pentacles. Now, Six of Cups, we're looking at their sexual energy. Over. Four of Cups, very emotional. Hmm. That feels like Mars in Cancer to me, energy here, sexually. Well, let's go see. Now, we got Strength, the Leo card. This is in Core Values and Lifestyle area. We have Strength over Judgment, Major Arcana. So they're no lightweight uh, in terms of their lifestyle and core values. Um, they're probably going to be someone that's a little bit older um, here too. At least past their first Saturn uh, return, so 30-ish or over, over that, you know. Uh, someone that's out of school, someone that's doing their work. So I'm going to start with the childhood. Don't really read the bottom of the deck here in this reading. So unless I need to clarify, which I seldom do. Um, we're going to try to pick up on your person here. This is not your ex problem, next ex problem, next ex wife, next ex husband. This is the one that's right for you. And we don't really have any triggery cards here anyway, so it doesn't complicate issues. Now, the Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, they're going to tell you a story in their childhood where they moved away from a situation. In, into a more stable situation. I don't know exactly how that's going to play out. Um, but uh, it could have been the, the dad or mom uh, got another job and, you know, they had to move uh, to a different town and they were being bullied in the old place and they got to start over. And here, you know, they weren't being bullied. Um, it would be a, a feeling to them of really being stable. Um, going from the Six of Swords in this position is not having a stable home like going home to home and not uh, having a, 
like they may have been so much in this energy. I'm, I don't know whether parents were hobos or what, um, but th as the child would experience it, it's like they may not really kind of know what it's like to have like a home where you live there all the time. And uh, you know, uh, I met a guy like this. He lived in the his same family home he grew up in in Texas. And I mean, the kind of groundedness you get from that um, is amazing. And would have to do that. <laughs> oh, it was so close. I was amazed how quiet it was here. <laughs> but it's Sunday. Somebody's uh, doing some carpentry. So um, um, I think that story is going to come out. Um, and I think this uh, really helped them, whatever this move was. And it made basically an uh, early part of their childhood was difficult, uh, transitional, unstable and the later part of their childhood was stabilized. Um, I'm pulling from this an earth moon person. Um, Taurus comes to mind with the queen of pentacles. Let me think about that because it could also be Capricorn moon. Um, I don't, could be a Virgo moon, but earth moon for sure, leave it at that. Um, I really get Capricorn for a sun sign here, guys, uh, with this Ten of Pentacles. And this is in that intellectual position, and then the Fool. This is going to seem strange. They probably have a Mercury and Sagittarius. I have Mercury and Sagittarius. It feels like the Fool, uh, the energy of it. Um, but they would be a very stable person. Uh, and they have a very, like, logical mind. That's very good. So, but with the full energy there, um, they also are capable of making leaps, of being spontaneous, of being uh, intuitive. Um, they could do something. We gotta go to strength and judgment. But with a mind like this, I mean, they could be a writer. They could be an astrophysicist. They could be a scientist that is also a journalist or a scientist that does something unusual. Maybe they maybe they have a degree uh, in science and they chose a life of studying, um, you know, metaphysics. And they go around and try to find ghosts or something. Um, they would have this kind of mind uh, that would be unusual uh, because usually when you have this kind of Ten of Pentacles mind, you don't have the fool associated with it. And particularly if it's Capricorn energy, which I think we got here, um, they're the most skeptical people in the world. There's good luck pulling the wool over their eyes. They're, they're the last, you, like if you're trying to scam somebody, don't waste your time on this Capricorn energy. You, you're not gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. You might get one once in a while, but 99% of the time, they're not gonna fall for anything. Um, I'm not saying they're gonna fall for stuff, but you've got the fool here. They're just a really open-minded Capricorn. So they're not just always dismissing things. You know, like you come to them and said, well, there might be uh, aliens and they'd be like, oh, really? Talk to me about it. And it might be willing to open your mind to that. So this could be someone that's into esoteric things, too, uh, with this kind of energy. And if they are, they might know a lot about it. Uh, like they, if, if they're into tarot, they know the history of it. They know everything about it. They've really studied the cards. Oh, uh, oh my God. Well, I guess everyone woke up. <laughs> Um, welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Hola. Security guard and bicycle. I feel very secure. I come around about every 10 minutes. But I think it's very safe here, despite all the bars. It's just like they don't really have police here like America. You call the police, they come raging in in less than a couple minutes and guns blazing. You know, here it's like, you know, you better have bars. <laughs> you need to give them a minute, you know. Okay, so sexually, I really like this uh, energy for them. Um, here we've got like uh, some kind of water energy, you know, um, they may have their Mars, uh, they may have their Venus uh, in Pisces, I think here. I'm not really sure on the Mars, it could also be in Pisces, kind of what's indicating Venus and Mars in Pisces. And the Six of Cups over the Four of Cups, you know, Six of Cups is Pisces energy to me, that nostalgia, being lost in the romantic feeling of things. Um, sexually and then with the four of cups too Mars in Pisces kind of debilitates kind of drowning a lot of times with Mars in Pisces other than being intuitive and receptive and feminine which is not how Mars wants to be 
um, it's it can be difficult for Mars to get traction and be kind of aggressive there. Um, so they probably male and female be someone's going to sexually tend to be submissive, even though with their overall energy, particularly in what they do at work, um, they have this strength Leo energy uh, um, with judgment underneath, major arcana. Um, they're doing some kind of work they were called up to do. Um, but you're going to have this earth energy and water energy um, in bed, you know, don't um, necessarily look for fireworks. Um, you know, um, it's someone that they're really going to need to feel emotionally safe, emotionally secure, emotionally connected with the Six of Cups. I wouldn't see this as someone that's had a lot of sexual partners because for them it's all about emotions. And I don't see them being able to have those emotions uh, for someone quickly like overnight stands. So probably their sexual history would be somewhat limited uh, by this, you know, self-limited. Male or female. Now, in terms of what they do, um, they've been at it a while. They feel like it was something they were born to do. This is the story they will tell you. You know, moving away from something when they were young and serving them well. Um, this person may have got a scholarship too, I get. They probably tell you a story about that, about how they got a scholarship of some kind that really helped them in terms of their education. They do have a higher education, uh, for sure. Um, and with this higher education, this is what they do. Um, and it's something that they feel they were born to do. That's what it is. With judgment over strength, there's judgment under strength. Um, so th whatever it is they do, I don't think it's a nine to five thing. It's something unusual. They have a very unusual mind and it could be almost anything. You know, uh, I see this person, uh, they have uh, multiple degrees. You know, um, they would have one degree in something and then add another degree very deliberately to create almost like a new field, you know? So they may be someone that uh, stands out in whatever field they're in. I mean, this person could be like a scholar, a writer, an expert somehow on something. Um, um, and I get to feeling like there's, whatever that this person does, there's not a lot of people doing it. So they're kind of unusual. Um, they're like an authority on what they do that story they will tell you so let me know guys if you relate to that i see this as someone that's coming not someone that's in your energy now it could be coming in an hour soon uh but this reading is for october so um like share subscribe please thank you guys